Okay, so I'm recording. Uh, we're in class. I'm going to look at the Bunzai Plus game. Okay, so go ahead and click on here. Some of you might have done that already. Click on Start. Click on Play the Game. Okay, so the, the process and the, the buttons are going to be pretty much the same in this one. Uh, there's going to be kind of more choices involved in this one than the other ones. Um, and it, it kind of does get into more real life things that you're going to look at. Um, looking at budgeting. Um, so the, the point of this one is um, you're kind, going to kind of enter the process of buying a house, um, looking at what how to get a good credit score, um, which is important. Um, and then the, they kind of throw more everyday life things of where you need money for and things like that that will pop up during this one. So there is a lot more choices during this one. Um, the right answer won't always be clear. Uh, one thing, because I went through this this weekend, one thing you got to kind of think of is some of the choices that are going to be presented to you is kind of in the situation you'll be in either now or in a few years. Um, don't think of it as like you're already very stable in a job and what your choices would be. Um, so like an example, I don't know if we'll get to it in the video, but one of them's like, you need something to sleep on. And, you know, they talk about buying kind of a middle of the line bed, a really nice bed, or for now, just sleeping on the couch. Well, if you already have a good job and a family and stuff, you might either want the really nice bed or even just the middle of the line bed. But if you got to think of times where you're saving to either a really important thing, like to put a down payment on a house, or if it's a car that you want or something, when you're young and saving for things, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And so those are some of the choices you got to make during this. Okay. And try to do it kind of real though, too. So you know what it could be like in real life. If certain decisions you, you're going to want to make because it's that's what you would do in real life, go ahead and do that and see what happens with the money you saved and stuff. Um, so we're kind of going through here. Um, you're going to get the feel what it's like to spend wisely, pay attention to receipts and bills that you get. And I'm going to show you that. That's one little thing that's different with this one. Um, and we're fine with that. Again, you can leave and come back. This one is probably going to be the, the majority of the time we have left in this class. We'll be doing this one. It's a little bit longer than the other ones, but it's also worth more points. Okay. So this kind of setup is the same as the other ones. You have your cash. Okay. I generally don't put much in there, but you can if that's the way you like to keep your money. Um, this is your checking account, so they've already started you off. You have some money in there. Um, you get comes with a debit card. Um, when you need to move money from one to the other, you would put um, click on the withdraw and, and debit buttons. I can possibly show you that in a second. Um, you're also going to get a credit card. This is a good thing to have. I don't know if this was in the other ones that we had or not, um, but this is really good for the real life situation and how to use a credit card. Okay, so you'll use one of these three things just to pay for different things. Um, and then the bottom stuff is your budget. So again, the actual money is up here. Okay, these are the things that you're putting your money towards. Okay, so this top, these top numbers should add up to what your bottom numbers are. 
Okay, so this the top adds up to a thousand. That's what this bottom should add up to. So you got eight hundred here. Um, one hundred gives you to nine hundred, nine fifty, and then thirty and twenty. So this adds up to a thousand. So that should always work out that way. Okay. Okay, it says rent is due. So again, this will be kind of like you've done before. So do you need to pay pay your rent? Okay, so we're going to take it out of our checking. It's eight hundred dollars. So you type in eight hundred, and that's going to go away from your budget, your rent budget. Okay, if you've done typed in the numbers correctly. Then the done bar will show up here. You can click that. Okay, so you made your first expense. I mean, just like I talked about, the balance will equal out what you have up top and what you have in your budget. Um, this pattern of your actual money and your budget is called double entry accounting. I think we mentioned that once before. Um, one thing, so as you go here, and I'll I'll do a few of these steps with you, and then eventually, if you want to move ahead and go on in class here, you can. Um, one thing that maybe we didn't, I don't remember if it's in the other ones or not. If you click on this one here, the bills, okay, it's going to show you, and I'll go until we have this, what bills you have coming up. So it kind of helps you um, know where to budget stuff. It also tells you how many more paychecks you have in this simulation. Now, don't freak out. It says 71, so that seems like this is going to take forever. What will happen is they'll, they'll, you'll do some situations, and then they'll skip ahead six months, and they'll, they'll say that pattern continued for six months, whatever you did your spending. So that would be, you know, six months would be like 12 paychecks or whatever. And then there's one spot where they skip ahead a year. And so it, it's not actually you're doing this 71 more times. Um, here, you're going to be able to check your credit score. Towards the end, you're going to want to be in the orange or the green to be able to get your loan for the house. Right now, we have nothing because we haven't done anything yet. Okay. Um, as we go, you'll earn badges, different things that you can earn that you've done well. So this beginning part is going to be something that we've done in the past. Um, so you grab lunch and you got, so you got to pay for this. Now they haven't brought it up yet, but this is totally up to you. You can pay with checking. One thing I do, and they'll, they'll talk about this. Um, uh, they do want you to record it and check in. I'm going to talk about the credit card in a second. Okay, so we're going to pay for this out of here just like we have before. So 2140. Whoops, and I missed the decimal point. That came out of the food budget, which will go in the negative now. Oh, I guess they won't let you. So keep that up there. We have to X this out. So if we don't have enough in the budget, we have to take 20 out of that. And we can take a dollar 40 because it says it right there. It always does it does the math for you. So it tells you a dollar 40 take out of your other. Okay. So now here's the situation. Um and you don't get to change this. So your job, you're, you're going to be teaching at a high school. So don't worry if you think you're never going to be a teacher or whatever. It's for the purpose of the game, you could it could be whatever job you want, but it's your annual salary is thirty nine thousand five hundred. OK. Um, your gross income, and we talked about that, is what you get before taxes every two weeks is a little over fifteen hundred. Okay, now here's where everyone's is going to start being different. Um, it says your employer offers a 401k account. If you put 4% of every paycheck into it, 
they'll give you an equal amount. Okay, so this is a good real life thing. So if you're not listening right now, this is a good thing to listen to. Because when you get a job, and if this is an option that you get, you may, you may think, no, I don't want to do this. Because it's going to take money out of your paycheck. And you might think, I need every amount of money right now. Of what a 401k is, and there's different things like this. Um, there's Roth, IRAs, 403Bs. There are different names for them. But it's a, re a, a, save, a retirement savings. Okay? Different companies will do it differently. But a lot of companies um, will do what's called matching. So up to a certain amount of money, whatever you put in, they'll match it. They're giving you free money. You don't get to use it right now, but you get, you get that money into an account, okay? In real life and in here, you know, in, in the game, you might not want to do it. You might think, I need to save more money right now to get the house or whatever, and you might do that in real life too. You might think, ah, I'm trying to pay rent and then this and that. Try to make other sacrifices. This is, they're giving you free money, okay? Up to 4% of your salary, okay? That's, that's, that's a good amount of money, okay? So if you have that option at a job, take it, okay? It, it's, <clears throat> and if you ever need help with that, ask me. If you're, you know, how, if you, Someone at your job should be able to help you with that, figure out how much should I put forward to max out the matching. But if, they, if you're having troubles, come to me and I'll help you with that. That's an important thing. Okay, that's free money for your retirement to make in your future. So I'm gonna click on this, okay? So for this job, um, you're not actually putting 20,000 in, but when you put in and they match it together, it's going to be close to that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click choose. And I, I don't, I think that math is a little wrong there. It won't be 20,000 right away. Let me get my, my calculator here. If you had, what they say you're making, we'll use the math easy. You're making forty thousand dollars a year. Four percent of that is one thousand six hundred. So you'd put in one thousand six hundred dollars into this account. They would match that. You would get a free one thousand six hundred dollars into this retirement fund, and that would grow over time. Okay, and then they would keep doing that all the time. Okay. Um, okay, so it's payday, you have direct deposit, so your check is automatically placed into your account. Now again, they withhold different things, taxes and things like that. So the net pay, it's kind of hard to see here, so you should see it on your screen. Your gross pay was a little over 1500 your net pay is about 1100 Okay, so we're going to put that money into checking so it's one 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 zero point five five so now this is where you need to spread your budget out okay and it in this case it tells you where to put it i'm gonna see if the bills show up here so this is what i meant by that bills button one bill that's going to come up before the next paycheck is this water bill for 120 dollars and nine cents Okay, and that's why they, and the utilities here said that you want 130. In the future, they're not gonna give you this. Okay, but let's go ahead and spread this out the way they say it, 800 for rent. Now they'll do the math for you up here. So you got 310.55 left. It says food is 80, cars 50, Utilities is 130, and that's because that one bill I just showed you. And that leaves you, and now they say put $10 into other.
Now, if you look at the math up here, there's still $40.55 we need to budget. Now, you could put that anywhere you wanted to. For now, I'm just going to put that in reserves. Reserves is kind of what you're could use for an emergency or it's kind of the money you're saving for this house. Now I've got all the money where I need to. I hit done. Again, some of you might be working ahead. That's fine. Or if you're not caught up to where I am, let me know and I can help you get there. I'm trying to think if there's anything major that I need to go over with you before I kind of just let you go. Um, and what, like I said, I went over the bills. A lot of times your rent will show up here, different bills. Oh, I wanted to get to the credit card stuff and then I'll let you go. Um, so here we've got some bills. Um, it says use online bill pay, which comes from your checking. Add the, add the amounts and record in one payment. So um, you could either add them in your head, you could add them on paper. If you're on your computer, one thing you can do, you, or you could use your phone, but there is a calculator on your computers. You start typing in calculator, you could pull the calculator up. So we have, 50.91 plus 69.99, so $120.90. Okay, so that's going to come out of here. Earn $20.90. That's going to come out of our utilities. Okay, so you start thinking about purchasing your own house, a place where you can settle down. You know, a realtor. Um, so this is kind of a general rule. Many homeowners save 10% for a down payment, meaning amount you put down right away, and then you're gonna take out a loan for the rest. Um, there's four options he found. So this, this is gonna lead up to one of the decisions you're gonna make. So you got a house that needs some fixing up. You got one that's just kind of normal, it looks like. You got one that's even a little more, it's on a better street, it's moving ready. And then they got some huge mansion thing. Now, unless you've landed a great job, you wouldn't be looking at this one. No teacher that starts out is going to be looking at this one. Okay, so you get to choose which house. If you're a fixer-up type person, you could pick this. Um, it's $189,000 house, so you need to save just under $20,000. Here, you'll need to save about... Um, there's some different things you'll need to replace. It talks about you'll need to save about twenty-five thousand for the down payment. Here you'll need to save about thirty, and then this one's huge. At the time, this actually isn't super expensive right now, but at the time this was made, probably you'll need to save forty-five thousand. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one that's not the fanciest, but I don't want to be doing a bunch of a bunch of fixing up. So this is totally up to you. If you're a fixer-up person or you're okay doing that type of cost, I'm gonna choose the second one, but you choose what you wanna choose. Okay. Again, I just wanna get to the point where they start talking about the credit card. Um, here it talks about shopping. You usually shop at Trader Moe's. Um, but you know that's kind of pricey. So now you got to think of, so that, again, this would be real life. Do you want to, obviously they're saying like the Trader Joe's type store. Do you want to still shop there or do you want to go um, and, and shop somewhere cheaper? I'm going to pick in the time of my life where I'm trying to save for a house. 
I'm going to choose shopping somewhere cheaper. Again, that's up to you. Okay. Um, I think this is where they start getting into the credit. So um, we got a bill, 5273. We're going to put that on our credit card. Okay, we're going to take that. This was groceries, so we're going to take that from our food. 52.73. We're going to click done. Okay, so after we talk about this, we'll be done for the demonstration stuff up here. But they're, now they're starting to talk about credit report. Okay, using a credit card actually will build your credit rating. Okay, but there's some things you need to know about that. So we'll see how much they go into it and I'll fill in the gaps on that, okay? So in real life, they actually will have a credit score here. I think it goes from like zero to, I can't remember, 220 or something like that, okay? So let's see what they say about it here. Um, credit score is gonna be important for obviously buying a house, but doing things like, getting a car getting a loan for a car or a loan for anything else you want to do okay um let's see what they do here we're gonna have to get gas uh, it's not going where i want to i want to talk more about the credit card but let's do this credit card readers are broken so you got to pay in cash it was 34.23 Let's take that from the car. Again, some of your numbers might look different as we go here. Okay, another situation here is about getting coffee. Again, you need to make a choice. Keep getting your spendy option. It's five dollars a day. Try something new for $3 a day or get 14, make coffee at home for $14. That'll last you two weeks. So that's a dollar a day. I'm going to choose that. Again, choose what you want to choose. Okay. And we're going to use our credit card. Okay, and it gives a hint here. You earn credit points for using your credit card. So that means when you use your credit card, you're going to increase your credit score. So we're going to pay $14 here. Take it out of our food. Click done. Okay, now they're not gonna tell you how to budget your stuff in the future, you'll have to decide. And then they explain here, like I was explaining to you before, what upcoming bills you have, okay? So it looks like you have two utilities coming up and they're gonna add a little under 240 bucks. Okay. Um, so our savings goal is $24,900. So we got to record our paycheck here. So we're going to put it in the checking. One, 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 zero point five, five. Okay, now I just said the only ones we have in our bills right now is this 200 and We'll just call it 240. If you want to add it up exactly, you can. And we already have nine in there. So I'm just going to put 240 into there for now. And now we have all this other money here. Most of it, I think I'm going to put in reserves. I got my 800 for rent here, so I'm going to leave that. My last food bill was 50 something bucks, so maybe I'll put 60 here. Again, you can do whatever you want. It's gonna do the math for you. I got 810 left here. Car stuff, 
you know, you can always take out of your reserves if you got to pay for car, but I'm going to put gas or something like that. I'm going to put 50 there. And I think I'm just going to throw the rest of it in reserves. I can always take it out of the reserves. So I'm going to put 760.55. Okay, so here it says, what's the best way to plan for your future? Write your expenses on a sticky note. Keep a running tally of your bills in your head. Divide the money into funds, recording income expenses for each or just wing it. So the right answer is going to be there. Um, yours. One thing is kind of keep track of these as you go, these questions. I think your one of your assignments for the Distance learning days might be some of these questions. So I'm actually going to record that question here. Um, so kind of keep an eye on those as moving forward. Same thing here. When should you keep a budget? When money seems a little tight, when you have unexpected income, when you have any income, when you get a full time job. The last two would both seem like good answers, I think I'm going to go right here. Any income. Okay. Again, I'm going to use that question probably on an assignment on one of the distance learning days. Okay. Couple, I'm just waiting to get to this credit card point that they're going to make, and then I'll let you go on your own. You might be going on your own already, and that's fine. Um, your laptop got fried. Okay. Looks like it's dead. So you need to buy a new one. And you bought it. I don't think it says, yep, you paid with credit, so it tells you to do it with credit. I'm going to tell you. When you when it doesn't tell you what choice I would usually make on how to pay for things. Um, now, I think this is the only part of your budget that can go into negative. So we'll try that here. Yeah. So you're kind of in debt for your reserves right now. As you earn money, you're going to have to pay it off. When you get it positive, you use that for your down payment of your house. All right, this is, here's they're talking about the credit card stuff. So if you spent a little over eighteen hundred on your credit card, which is approaching half your credit limit. Credit limit's five thousand, meaning that's the most you can use on the on your credit card. Okay, so a credit card is a simple way to begin building credit. Use carelessly, however. It can become a big problem and limit your financial options. So credit cards are great. I'll explain a few reasons why, but they're also they can cause problems for a lot of people. For example, measures how well you pay off your debts, such as a credit card balances and car loans, and how far you stay away from your credit limit. So if you are using your credit card, that's a good way to build credit. But if you're constantly going up to your credit limit, that's going to have a negative effect on your credit score. Okay, so just because you have a five thousand dollar limit on your credit card doesn't mean you should be using that all. Okay, um, and how often you're applying for new types of credit? So, like, if you go to uh, a lot of times, if you shop at a store and they ask, "Oh, do you have the?" Kohl's card yet? And you say no, and they say, well, you can save 20% today if you sign up for a Kohl's card. If you do that to every store you go to, it's going to start lowering your credit because you keep signing up for new types of credit. So, especially when you're younger, you might not even be looking at credit cards yet, but as you go, when I started, I, I picked out one credit card, and I think I eventually went to one type of store card, like Right now, a, a Target card makes sense because you can save 5% on every purchase. And then maybe one type of regular credit card. 
Okay. But don't start taking out a bunch of different ones. Um, another area that people get in trouble with credit cards is it's not free money. You you have to know that you basically you should be thinking, can I easily pay off my credit card before you start using a credit card? Okay. And that's gonna be very important. Um so your bill arrived, the balance is eighteen hundred and twenty. $28.06, and you have, um, we have just a little over 2200 in our checking account. How do you wanna pay off your first bill? Okay, so the minimum payment is $73.12. This is where some people start getting in big trouble with credit cards. If you pay the minimum payment, that's good, but now you get charged interest on the rest of the money that you have to owe. Okay, if you pay off the second one here, so you know we're looking at a little over sixteen hundred dollars left that we get charged interest for, and we're gonna have to pay extra money on. If we go here, pay the full amount, we get charged none, no extra money. So we have used the credit card for its purpose, and we have no extra charges at that point. So that's what I'm gonna choose. The other option here is skip the payment. That's the worst thing you can do. So that's gonna first lower your credit score because you're not making a payment, but then also you get charged interest on the whole amount, okay? So if at all possible, you should be trying to pay it the whole thing off. So we're gonna pay the whole thing. Now that this is the, another main point I, wanna, I wanted to get to the point on how to pay back and how much to pay back on the credit card. And the last thing here is, um, in he, on this credit card, you're gonna earn 2% cash back on each transaction you make. So that means if you bought something for $100 on your credit card, they're gonna put, two. you're gonna earn $2, okay? Different credit cards will have different bonuses like that. Some will have bigger bonuses for purchasing gas or things at home improvement stores, things like that. That's why, and this was the one point I wanted to get to, when I have a choice, and this can be different for different people, when I go and I have a choice of either using cash, check, debit card, or credit card, I always use credit card. And unless there's an extra, some places will charge you to use a credit card, but if they don't do that, like if I go buy something for $2 at the gas station, my wife makes fun of me sometimes. It can come to $1.98. And instead of me giving two $1 bills, I use my credit card because I earn a percent of that money back. Okay. So I always use my credit card. Now, if you're a person that isn't good at paying off your credit card, then that's not going to be for you. But that's, that's just what I always do. Okay. Because this is what happens. So on that, it doesn't seem like a lot, but our credit, we had borrowed a little over $1,800. We got 2% 2 of that back, which is $36. It doesn't seem like much, but that's, if you're getting $36 back on every bill, that adds up, okay? And we get to add that into our checking because we earn that back. That's one thing right now. I. I do a lot of buying on Amazon and I got a credit card that gives 5% back on Amazon purchases. So for me, that's a great deal. Okay. So I need to add that into the budget. I'll just put it in reserves for now. 3656. And now we're going to have to pay off the credit card. So we're going to have to take from our checking. 1828.06. That's going to pay off our credit card bill. Okay, done. So I think that's where I'm going to stop right now. Um, so there's going to be so we got almost 
quarter or third of the way through. So we're not going to start anything new tomorrow. You got today, you got tomorrow. And if it has to go into the distance learning days, that's fine. This one takes a little longer and it's, it's, it's worth more points than the other ones. Um, again, remember to look when you have to put money towards your budget. Remember to look at what bills are coming up. Okay, one of these is right now. Um, so right here, 113.87, you're gonna have to pay. Um, if you have questions, especially like when that pops up, like it'll jump six months ahead or a year ahead and it tells you to budget your income and stuff like that. Um, if you have a question there, let me know, okay? But I think that's where I'm gonna stop for now. Let me stop the recording and then I'll explain what you can do in class right now.